Chesterfield have uh, no less than eight first-teamers out of the side today. Uh, they include players like Martin Booty, Ian Brecken, Lee Richardson, Marcus Ebden, John Howard, Steve Blatherwick, Steve Tuttle and David Doria, all out through either suspension or injury. Uh, there's one other notable name missing from the side, apart from the departure of Lou Beckett, of course, and that's David Reeves, who uh, is on loan at Oldham Athletic at the moment, so he also is missing from the Chesterfield squad. In return for that, Chesterfield have two players on loan from Boundary Park, and they are number 36 and number 37 in the starting lineup. That's Mark Allett, number 36, and number 37, Mark Innes. And the ball eventually all the way through and turn back. Jamie Burt will chase that one. Burt will keep that one in play. Just looking to get his cross in. He's got support from Rob Edwards if he needs it. It's still Jamie Burt. He does indeed get the cross in and it's just over the bar. Chesterfield supporters at the far end of the ground thought that one was going in and indeed it could well have done but it was just over the bar from number 36 Mark Allett on loan from Oldham Athletic and a good effort there from him just over the bar of Stuart Garden. Chesterfield ball. Jamie Hewitt with the throw. Hurst did well to control it first time but was beaten the second time to it header there from Kasky and Kasky again plays a ball across field now and uh, cut out there by Innes by Jamie Burt in fact it was that uh, stopped that one and now it's Burt on the ball again getting forward here for the Spyrites taking on uh, Craig Ireland Burt with the shot, the save Glyn Hurst racing into the back post so too was Allert and it was all caused from uh, Jamie Burt's shot initially Good football there from the Chesterfield number eight. He got the shot in. The goalkeeper could only parry it in the sunshine. And despite the fact that Allerton Hurst came in at the back, neither of them could capitalise on it. Notts County trying to get that one away with Riley, only as far as Shewitt. Plays Glyn Hurst in this time. There's no offside flag. Glyn Hurst inside the area is Sean Parrish. Hurst couldn't get the ball in. Danny Williams might, though. Inside now is Allert. Mark Allert! Straight across the face of the Notts County goal. And the ref, the goalkeeper, absolutely furious there. Nobody picking up Mark Allett. And a really good move by Chesterfield. Allett putting it right across the face of the goal. And what a chance that was for Chesterfield to have taken the lead just after the half-hour mark. Bolland plays it across field to Heffernan. Making a run there was Cass. Quinn is on the edge of the area. So too is Kasky. Cass gets the ball into Cass. There's a good link up play here. Heffernan's in for Notts County. And he's just wide of the back post from Paul Heffernan. Chesterfield's defence have had little to do in this first half so far. But they were caught sleeping slightly there. Hewitt. Hurst. Good football again by Chesterfield. Glyn Hurst just not being able to get anything on that cross. As Notts County's defenders. Once again, stand firm at the back. It's Bolland on the ball now for County, playing that one forward. Quinn with a little flick. Pierce covers it for Chesterfield. Burt. Still Jamie Burt. Overlapping here is Mark Innes. Innes with the shot. Yes! Chesterfield take the lead. And about time they did as well. They've certainly deserved it so far. And it's Mark Innes who gets his second goal in as many games. The number 37 scored on his debut at Brighton, and now he's got another one in only his second game. Good move by the Spyrites, they kept the pressure on. It was Jamie Burt again, the architect of it, and the scorer eventually was Mark Innes, the number 37, putting it past Stuart Garden for Chesterfield 1, not County 0. Header was by Cass, cleared by Pierce. Allert. Oh, he set Burt away. Jamie Burt could be in here for number two. He's took it around the keeper. Oh, yes. Well, the linesman flag goes up on the far side of the field. It's not going to count. The linesman is flagging on the far side. It won't count. And despite good work there by Mark Allert and then by Jamie Burt, who took it very coolly around the goalkeeper and stuck it in the back of the net, Notts County instead have the free kick and the linesman on the far side receiving the boos of the home fans. Darren Kasky to take this. <laughs> Cross goes in, it's headed to the back and it's a goal. It's Nicky Fenton that's got it. Notts County have got the perfect reply they wanted. Darren Kasky's corner and Nicky Fenton scores for County just one and a half minutes into the second half.
it's uh, forward by Innes. Hurst has made the run to put the pressure on the keeper right on the edge of the area. Hurst had to have a look at that one. Glenn Hurst, he had to have a look at that one. Surely Stuart Gordon was right on the edge of his area. Sean Parrish trying to get the ball off him. Well, it looks like he was out of his area, Stuart Gordon. The referee waving knots county players away. <laughs> and Craig Ireland getting his fist in uh, his own goalkeeper's face quite accidentally there. And, uh, Stuart Gordon... Well, he's going to get a booking at least for this now. I, I can't imagine he'll be sent off because uh, he's right on the edge of the area. It'd probably be yellow. But there is Steve Mildenhall, of course. Well, it is. It's red. It's red. Stuart Garden leaves the field for Notts County. He'll be replaced, of course, by another goalkeeper. And that will be Steve Mildenhall, who uh, actually has the number one on his back anyway. But what it does mean is Notts County will be down to ten men. Bolland. Quinn's chasing this one, still James Quinn turned his defender there and he almost chipped Nathan Abbey, good save from Abbey, puts the ball out for another corner, and as James Quinn showed a bit of class there, he got round Steve Payne and almost chipped Abbey but a good save produces Notts County's fifth corner of the game Williams gives Hewitt the return ball again down the line that time by Hewitt Hurst if he can get his cross in, he does get his cross in and at the near post, the ball launched up into the air there. Hewitt again losing out this time to Kasky. Kasky's played a good ball, there's been no offside flag, and Steve Payne with some work to do here against Quinn. Quinn's cut inside, Quinn shot, and Abbey makes a fairly comfortable save. James Quinn there, turning inside Steve Payne and getting his shot in. Innes. Oh, mistake by Riley, letting Glyn Hurst! Oh, dear me, Glynnhurst, how did that one stay out? The cross goes back in again from Hurst, and this time the whistle's gone. The linesman's flag is up on this near side of the field. But Glynnhurst, an absolute screamer of a shot there after the mistake by Riley, hit the inside of Steve Mildenhall's post and then came bouncing across the goal and stayed in play. But how on earth it stayed out from going over the goal line and into the net, nobody will ever know, I don't think. Kinnis gets back into the action as Nathan Abbey makes the kick downfield. Willis. Willis with the shot, Mildenhall with the save, rushing in his hearse, he's got it eventually! That's a goal this time! Well, it's been a long time coming, and it's Mark Allett gets his first goal for the Spyrites. Mark Allett scores, Chesterfield finally have taken the lead again. Seven minutes to go in the 83rd minute. Mark Allett put that ball in the back of the net. It's been a long time coming for Chesterfield. But have they now finally broken 10-man Notts County? We'll have to wait and see. The ball was played in there. Hurst again looked favourite to score. Again, it wouldn't go in for him. After Mildenhall made the initial save in Mari Willis's shot, it caused chaos in there. Hurst couldn't get the ball in the net. But when it dropped to Mark Allett, he scored to put uh, Chesterfield 2-1 up. <laughs> 